My name is Ralph and today I'd like to introduce you to the Dexibel Vivo H7 Digital Piano. In the past, the pianoforte has been invented in Italy. Today, Dexibel, an Italian company, has reinvented the digital piano. What you've just heard is the uh, Vivo Grand Concert Piano Sound and now I'd like to take you a little bit deeper into the sound and show you the components of this sound. Starting with the uh, resonance of the staccato sound. So what you hear is the ringing and the resonances inside the grand piano body. Now we will have a closer look uh, into the T2L True to Life engine to see our uh, components that make this piano sound so beautiful. I can increase or decrease the hammer noise up to my taste. So let's increase that. We can increase or decrease the key off noise. The release of the key, you hear the mechanical noise inside the grand piano. And this is, of course, also dynamic, so if I release slowly, you will hear less of this noise. Then, as a next parameter, we have the damper noise. So I'm using my damper pedal at this moment. You can hear that. Then we have a string resonance that I can um, put up. We have a damper resonance that I can increase. So let me show that to you. With this parameter, we have the harmonics. So I do a silent key touch here. And if I play these notes, you can hear all the harmonics in the sound. The recording of each note is 15 seconds long before we go into the loop of the recording. This has the benefit of having all the harmonics and all the overtones staying alive, not freezing. So you can really go for Also, we literally have unlimited polyphony and you can really go into We have 320 oscillators doing all the stuff in real time for you and you will never lose any notes. All the components of the sounds that you have just listened to are of course available for all the other sounds that you will going to be listening to in the next couple of examples. So the next example I'd like to show to you is our upright piano. The next sound I'd like to show you is the sound we call the pop grand. The pop grand is a little bit more crisp, a little bit more hard, as opposed to the uh, vivo grand uh, sound. We achieved this uh, kind of sound by asking the piano tuner to make the hammers a little bit harder, so we get a different frequency shape of the sound. As you can hear, I also can layer synth sounds on top of this uh, piano sound.
As opposed to that, we ask the piano tuner, uh, please now make the hammers a little bit softer so we can record a more classical kind of sound. We have had the pleasure and honor to borrow a 1850 built Playel Grand Piano from the private collection of our piano tuner and record it. 1850, around that time, was the time when Chopin was alive and wrote his music, and Playel was actually the brand he used for playing. So we have the actual Chopin sound in our instruments. go into the tuning page here. So we do have the Italian Valotti, just major, for example, mean tone, Werkmeister, Kirnberger. So that would be the era of Johann Sebastian Bach. Now we have asked our piano tuner to detune our upright piano in the style of an honky-tonk. So our philosophy with all the sounds is we have to tune the sounds in the right way before recording it. So we don't need to tweak them afterwards with some DSP. So what you hear is really the pure sound. And this time is a detuned upright, a honky tonk sound. Now we literally put pin nails into the hammers to have the typical ragtime sound. In our Vivo H7, you will also find fantastic pipe organ sounds derived from our Classico series. This church bell sound is actually not inside the Vivo H7 when you purchase it. This is a sound that I imported, so we have the possibility to import new sounds, other sounds, of course indexable format, but also we decided to open a big door, which is the uh, sound font SF2 format, where literally thousands of sounds are available in the internet for putting into your Vivo instrument. Now let's change the scene and listen to the electric pianos in the H7, starting with the Wurlitzer sound. Also we have several multi-effects. In this uh, example you have heard the tremolo, and in the next example you will hear a phaser and a chorus. After the Wurlitzer sound, we're going to listen to the clavinet. All our decibel instruments actually feature seamless patch change, meaning 
I'm playing with one patch. I can hold the sound with the uh, sustain pedal. Then I change the patch and you will not hear any cut in the sound. And I'd like to give you an example now, starting with a patch uh, using FM electric piano and an orchestral synthesizer sound. And then I will seamlessly change to the acoustic grand sound and then back and then back again. And last but not least in the electric pianos, we're going to take it to the dyno stage sound. Now let me invite you to a short trip to London where we recently had the opportunity to play our H7 next to a state-of-the-art acoustic grand piano. Changing sounds, changing effects, changing parameters. Of course, you can do that on the left side of your instrument on that little panel. However, Dexibel is offering a free iPad app that we call the Editor. So you can actually do the same thing on the larger touchscreen of the iPad. So let's have a look. On the first page, you would be able to change the sounds. There is the main part, the layered part, and the lower part, which is on the left side of the split point. Here you see the split node. You can change that by simply doing this. Then on the next page, we have the mixing section. Also, we have the MFX slots. We have two MFX slots for each part of the instrument. So we have different multi-effects, such as tremolo, equalizer, flanger, chorus even a triple tap delay. Then uh, there is actually a fantastic copy, fa a copy and paste function, meaning if I want to copy effects from that slot to here, I push copy, then I go to paste, and then I can select uh, if I want to copy everything or only parts of the uh, multi-effect settings. In this patch, I'm using a uh, electric piano. on the left side and an acoustic ramp piano on the right side and also we have that triple tap delay for the acoustic piano. Then here we have the controls. I can assign the pedal functions and last but not least this is the memory section so I can hit right. I can select the destination of my memory space. I can name it and I can save it inside my instrument. So the second app I'd like to show to you is called Xmure. In the Xmure there are audio loops that can be actually controlled by playing chords in real time. So let me show that to you.
With Dexable Vivo, we truly believe we have made the world's finest digital piano. We invite you to experience Vivo for yourself. Visit us at dexable.com for more information and to find a retailer in your area. Once again, my name is Ralph. Thank you for watching.